I'm Sharon Bill. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my Theory Tuition series where I'll help you step by step through the ABRSM Theory grades. We're working through the Grade 1 Music Theory and Practice Workbook at present. There are loads of resources available to help you on my website if you visit SharonBill.com there are some free PDF information sheets that are available in US Letter or A4 to accompany each step of this series. There's also a page which links to all of my YouTube video tutorials. You can also access information about the books I have available there on that website. I've written this book, How to Take Your ABRSM Music Theory Exam Guide, and it helps you with exam tips and techniques of how to make the most use of that exam time which is ultimately what we're working forwards to as we work through this Grade 1 Theory Workbook. And so now we're on Section M, which is all about cancelling an accidental. So if you go to your Download Sheets and find Sheet M, that's what we're going to be referring to. We're also going to be referring back to Section J, so if you have that sheet to hand also, we will be referring back to that. So we're on page 19 at present, but we will be referring back to page 14 as well. So this is page 19, Section M, so I'll just mark that so we know which information sheet that's relating to, but just pop back to 14, to page 14, and just refresh your memory on these accidentals where we're looking at sharps, flats and naturals which raise a note, lower a note by a semitone or cancel a sharp or flat. So you just need to be aware of what those symbols mean still. Okay, let's jump ahead then to page 19, section M. And really this is just using the accidentals but in a slightly different way when they're in conjunction with a key signature. So we know from our previous uh, section that an accidental lasts until the end of a bar which cancels that out. If you want to cancel a sharp before the bar, bar line does that for you, you must use a natural sign. Okay, and so the same is also true if you've got a key signature, so we have a key signature of F sharps here, and if we don't want that F sharp, we have to cancel it out because the key signature tells us that every S is F is sharpened, dearie me, every F is sharpened unless we cancel it and are told otherwise. And so exercise one is asking us to combine our knowledge here by adding an accidental in front of the note marked with an asterisk to cancel the previous accidental. Now this sounds sometimes like a, a bit of a double negative because sometimes if we have a key signature of a sharp it's been cancelled and in effect we have to cancel the cancel to go back to the sharp so we've got to get rid of that natural sign in order to go back to the key signature so we have to add the sharp sign to go back to the original key signature because otherwise that natural sign would last for the whole bar until the bar, remember an accidental lasts for a whole bar and so if we want to get rid of that natural sign before the bar line does that for us we have to put the sharp sign back to put that key signature back into effect so we just got to watch out what it is that we're returning back to, we have to watch out what our original state is. So I will just look through this next one with you. So A, just be aware of which clef we're in, at present we have a D sharp here, so I'll just note that there. And so to cancel that, to cancel the sharp, obviously we're going to need a natural, and it, that's a pretty simple straightforward case. Just be aware because sometimes there's an accidental in addition to the key signature. So just have a go at exercises B and C and just see if you can react to what the key signature is and what the sharp signs are. And always bear in mind we're trying to cancel the accidental that's just been in place. 
have a go, keep in pencil and then it doesn't matter if it's wrong, we can always rub out and try again. So press pause and have a go at that. So I'm hoping you've had a little go of that on your own. I shall now work through that with you. If you've got it wrong, it doesn't matter. Just go back and try again. It's always better to learn by your mistakes. So at present, we have a key signature of F and C sharps. But here, every good, we have a G sharp. Nothing to do with our key signature in actual fact. And so here, we've got to cancel that accidental. So we've got to cancel that G sharp by making it into a natural. Now here, we've got to cancel this accidental. Now this accidental is a C natural, which is actually interfered with our key signature. So in order to get rid of the natural sign, we need to put a sharp sign to put us back to the key signature. We've had to cancel the cancel. OK, let, let's have a go at the next one. So C, we're now in bass clef. We've got a key signature of B flat, so just bear that in mind. However, nothing to do with that key signature. We now have an accidental of all cows eat E flats. So here they're asking us to cancel the previous accidental, so we need to cancel that flat. And so to cancel the flat, we need to add a natural. That's pretty straightforward. Let's glance ahead at the next one. So here there's an asterisk. They've asked us to cancel the previous accidental, which is that one. So here we've got a B natural, which is actually now removed the B flat of our key signature. And so in order to cancel this natural sign, we need to add a flat in order to go back to our original key signature. There we go. Seems a little bit backward to think we're cancelling the cancel, but hopefully that makes sense. If you've got those right, crack on, we'll just keep going. If you found you've made a couple of mistakes and you haven't quite got that, just go back and rub out what you've done and try again. Just go back over and work through it again and then check through it with the video once again. So moving on, we'll have a look at exercise two. And this is just a simple exercise in naming the notes. So we're naming each note marked with a number. It says here, the letter name is enough if it does not have an accidental, but think about the key signature and any other accidentals that might be in place from earlier in the bar. Okay, so just watch your clefts. So here we've got to bear in mind, we've got a key signature of B flats. So that is all cows, C, that is good boys, B flat, because our key signature affects every single B, okay? Now here, in number three, you would think that is going to be a B flat again, however, this natural sign is still active because the bar line hasn't yet cancelled it, so actually, that is now just normal B, because that natural sign has got rid of the key signature for now. Okay, let's move on to number four in this exercise. So good boys deserve, so that's a G. No key signature, no accidentals, nothing there. Then good boys, that's a B. However, we're back to our original state. No accidentals have affected this, and so the key signature is still in place, so that's a B flat. And then finally, our last note is an F because we know it's good boys deserve football. So G is the bottom line. One below that is note F. So perhaps if you have a little go at exercise 2B now, have a go at that on your own. And then we'll work through it together once you've had a little go. So press pause, have a go, and then we'll re-access into the video to go through that together. So presuming you've had a little go of that yourself, let's go through and check that. We've got a key signature of two sharps, which will be F sharps and C sharps. We've also got some extra accidentals going on, so we're just gonna have to keep our eyes peeled. So treble clef, good boys deserve. So every good boy deserves. That's a D. Okay, every good, that's a G sharp with the accidental. Now here, Every good boy deserves football, F, 
G. Now this is where we've just got to just be aware, although an accidental lasts for a whole bar, this G is unaffected because an accidental only affects that particular pitch. No other Gs are affected. A key signature affects everything. Every F and every C is sharpened, but an accidental only affects that one pitch. So this is still just G unaffected by that. Let's move on. Every good boy says for all F. However, the key signature tells us that that is F sharp. <coughs> Excuse me. Next one, number five, F A C. Now it would be C sharp for the key signature. However, that's been cancelled with a natural. And because there's a natural sign there, it's not sufficient to just say C. We need to show that we've recognised that natural sign and actually put that in our answer. So moving on, number six is still a C something, but there's obviously plenty going on here and we need to just think, now what has happened to that note C? We've originally got a key signature of C sharps, however it's been cancelled by this natural sign, but then since that it's been put back to the key signature, so the C sharp has cancelled the natural and put it back to the key signature, so now this C is still sharpened because that natural sign, that sharp sign is still in play and we're back to the original key signature. So we need to make sure that's a C sharp. There we go. You can imagine the fun that we can have when we're performing these sorts of pieces because you've really got to always bear in mind what the key signature in is and also what accidentals have just come into force. You've always got to be aware of all these constant changes that are going on as you perform each of these pieces. I hope that's been helpful to you. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm certainly enjoying working through this. I absolutely love doing music theory. If you can give me a thumbs up, that'd be really encouraging to me. And if you subscribe to my channel, then you'll be sure not to miss out on all the fab things I've got in store to help you. Please do go to my website, SharonBill.com. There's loads of resource there to help you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.